Hmm. Hello, everybody. So, um, I'm on my way to work right now. Let me fix my necklace. My necklace looks kind of yanky. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm on my first official day of light duty at work now. Um, I will spend the next 250 days sitting at a desk taking reports. It's gonna be fun. But at least I can dress up. At least I can put on my hair, my good hair. I can put on makeup now. Like, I can look cute. Granted, I might not feel cute in the next couple of months, but it'll be all worth it in the end because I, I don't know. Like, it's just so overwhelming and kind of scary and it's exciting all at the same time just thinking that, you know, there's actually a person growing <laughs> inside of you right now. And... It's just weird thinking about it, like, knowing that I am growing a human. I'm, I'm growing. Like, my husband was making jokes. He was like, at least I can start making those jokes today. Like, what did you do all day? And you could be like, well, I made a lung. What did you do? <laughs> so, yeah, he's really excited. Um, we're totally excited. We had already talked about uh, rearranging the room that's going to be the baby's room, the nursery. Like, it's so weird saying all this stuff. Like, a nursery. Nursery. Um, <laughs> I already started pinning stuff. I have a whole Pinterest board. I have three Pinterest boards devoted to this baby already. And I really hope it's a girl. And my mom and his mom hope... Well, Jason hopes it's a girl, too. Um, Because we really, really... We really, really want a little girl. Like, that'd be awesome and amazing. Um trying to think of other things i haven't really had any issues i'm like four weeks and three days or four days right now so i really haven't had um any symptoms or anything really i have been a little tired but i think that's more so because i had in service last week and i had to do a lot like a lot of classroom stuff and it's way different from what schedule i was work normally working because i normally work 3 p.m to 3 a.m and that class was like eight to five Monday through Friday so it was really awkward on my sleep schedule and then finding out that I was pregnant you know on top of all that it it was just a lot to deal with and just a lot to be stressed about and then stressing over where exactly they're gonna put me in a department and worried about like who's gonna be in charge of me and stuff like that so it's been really overwhelming um I actually go to get my third blood draw tomorrow morning and my first ultrasound is scheduled for May the 21st. So I'm really excited for that. I should be around that. This is basically like a month from now. So I should be around like seven to eight months, seven to eight weeks by then. Um, but the ultrasound is when they can really tell you how far along you really are because we're just going off of my last period um, date. But it could totally be different than what I think it is right now. But hold on, let me get my food because I gotta eat. So I just went to Panera. I really, I think I've only been to Panera about like three or four times, like, but I, I don't know, like yesterday I really wanted tomato soup and I hate tomatoes. Like, you cannot feed me tomatoes to save my life. Um, But I really, really wanted tomato basil soup because I always used to get that when we went to medieval times and I used to love that stuff. And I just always thought it was good. So I just got that from Panera. I got like their tomato, their creamy tomato soup and their grown up cheese, uh, grilled cheese sandwich with bacon and cheese on it. So that's gonna be good. But then I realized like I have so much bread to eat and I probably shouldn't eat all this bread right now. I probably should've got a salad or something because I've been eating a lot of starch. And I'm definitely not trying to gain a lot of weight during this pregnancy because, yeah, I keep on weight really easily and I don't want to just be rolling around looking like a blimp. And I really hope that I don't gain as much weight, like, because I'm already technically considered overweight. Um, I can, like, I'm around like 200 pounds. Um, probably like 215 maybe but the thing is I don't look like it when you look at me like I'm built solid but uh I can just imagine if I gain like 30 pounds what kind of monstrous person I would look like right now at least to me like I just I just can't I don't I can't do it 
I can't do it. I'm so, so I'm gonna have to like watch my weight. I'm gonna have to watch, especially during the first trimester since the baby really doesn't need as many calories and stuff because it's still like a little, it's like an embryo. It's like a little embryo still. And you know, all the little cells and stuff, they don't need that much. They just need some like a uh, folic acid and some vitamins and some water and blah, 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 blah. And they're good. Wait until like second trimester then the baby might need all kinds of stuff, but right now, right now it shouldn't need that much. So, sorry, I'm trying to drive because I gotta get to work and clock in. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Oh, like, let me, let me, uh, blah. let me tell you about the symptoms. So, um, we found out on 420 that I took a test at that Monday at five o'clock in the morning and the lines appeared immediately. Like I was just sitting on the toilet and I was just like, what? Maybe this is like a, a misprint. And then I took another one and it did the same thing. And then I, <laughs> I like immediately like was like, Jason, like I said it like in a low kind of yell whisper. I don't know how to really explain that, but if you would have heard it, you would have understood what I'm saying. And like I went in a room and I was like look at this and I threw the test at him and don't worry it had the cap on it so he didn't get like pea splatter on him or nothing he's perfectly fine he's a man he can deal with it but uh he was like he was like what's this and I was like he was like is it positive and I was like yes and he was like oh my gosh and then he like kind of rolled back over and went to sleep but then <laughs> and then like I went in the bathroom and I was just like looking at it and um, I started getting ready for work and then I went, no, I went into my makeup room and I started getting ready for work and stuff and then I just started crying because I'm like, I just can't believe it. And I started writing in my journal and stuff and just like how awesome it is that this has actually happened after all these years of trying for us. And um, it's just amazing. Um, and then Jason went and like fixed me breakfast after that and then I called my sisters. Um, so I'm gonna actually probably, I don't know how I'm gonna break this up into because I made like reaction videos for my mom and his mom. Granted, that is another story for his mom because Jason, Jason didn't keep his mouth shut. Like I told him, I said I was gonna surprise your mom. Well, actually I said I was gonna tell my mom that day. And then I said, uh, I told him later that afternoon, I was like, well, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna surprise both of them because I really feel like, you know, it's special whenever you get another grandchild or whatever. And uh, this would be our first child, so it's really exciting, and I'm excited. <sighs> but I was supposed to talk about symptoms. That's what I'm supposed to talk about. So, what have I been feeling like right now? I have been having, like, little mild cramps, but it's nothing, like, serious or anything like that. It's just super, like, it'll cramp and then it's gone. Um, I haven't been peeing more than I have before. I have been doing number two more, and which I found odd because I'm like, you know... My body has a system and it's not like normal people's system probably because i don't drink enough water and i probably don't drink have enough fiber and all that crap in my diet but that's what i was used to and i was like oh lord like you're going all the time and um so what else has been going on so other than that i i did feel nauseous the other day but i think that was more so because well my mother-in-law's friend who she told that day too as well um she seems to think I got sick because I was riding in the back of the car. And I mean, I don't know. I've never been pregnant, so I don't know about these things. And Ginger Ill has been helping with that. Uh, I haven't thrown up or anything because I think it's because I'm so early and my levels are so, I mean, they're not like low, but they're not like super high where people start getting sick and stuff. And I think the sickness usually starts from all the stuff that I read around like five and a half to six week mark so next week i'll be five weeks next on thursday i'll be five weeks so we'll see if anything changes then and i have like tons of apps my mother-in-law made me download that <laughs> she was like let me get an app too so i can follow along so she's basically like following along with the pregnancy with me so she can see what i'm doing and she can see like uh she can see how big the baby is per day and all this stuff uh, so it's just really exciting it's, it's scary and exciting I've talked oh my gosh this video is like 11 minutes <sighs> yeah 
I would probably have to redo this because I don't want to like just go on for like 11 minutes but it's just it's just it's just so cool but anyway guys I will talk to you later I'm about to go clock in to work um yep so deuces